Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, definitely subscribe. Today I'll be giving you a one year update on the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Rust-Oleum painted uh, Honda Pilot. As you can see right here on the door, um, this is actual spray paint. This is not a sticker. It's over the top of the Rust-Oleum uh, and it's held up really well. I'll give you a video right here of the paint process that I went through to get this done. And uh, I'll definitely leave a link in the description for the full video. So here it is. All right, so as for the prep work, we went through with some 80 grit. We sanded the entire vehicle down, used soapy water in a spray bottle and wet sanded basically with 80 grit and then wiped it all down um, afterwards. Went through with a paintbrush and used the Rust-Oleum truck, truck bed coating from Walmart. Uh, cost like $47, I believe, before taxes here in America. Uh, a lot of places that might be a different price uh, due to import taxing and stuff like that. But we went through with the paintbrush, got in all the cracks and crevices uh, just to make sure it would bond really well. And after we were done doing this, we went through and rolled on with the truck, truck bed coating roll-on kit that you can also get from Walmart because we didn't spray it on the first coat. Um, rolling it on kind of sucks. It didn't lay down uniform. It definitely was not smooth and uh, had that good texture. So on the second coat, that's when we went with the spray gun over the top. But as you can see here, I just went through and uh, dabbed on the spots that I would think would chip the easiest, uh, dabbed it on with the brush, and then went over it with the roller just to make sure we got a decent coat on the first coat because the first coat is one of the most important coats. Um, you want it to bond really well. But uh, yeah, basically we just did this throughout the entire vehicle for the first coat. Took quite a few hours to do. Um, now the second coat only took a matter of 10 minutes at most because the spray gun puts out a lot of material really quick and it laid really, really smooth. Um, given the texture, it laid on pretty uniform, which right here is where I got the truck bed coating spray. Uh, we sprayed it all on. And this one, you can get this kit at O'Reilly's, but yeah. It did pretty good, um, definitely sprayed on pretty well, and had a really beautiful texture to it. So whenever we get up close to it, I'll show you the texture, and the second coat just laid down so much better with that gun. I can't stress that enough. We had a small compressor as well. This doesn't require a huge compressor. I think it was set at like 60 or 45 PSI. It wasn't very high, but we've done it at 90, and it looks good too. Well, as you can see here, it definitely has a good gritty texture to it, and uh, with the gun it definitely laid smooth. I highly recommend using the gun for both coats, but if you don't have the gun, rolling it on will work too. From O'Reilly's for 50 bucks, and then of course I'm still using the same Rust-Oleum, and it's got about that much left in the bottom, which is more than enough for touch-up stuff or future vehicles I do, like his truck. This is my brother AJ, you probably remember. But yeah, now here's the rest of it. We'll walk around. Um, as you can see, the lettering's still on there. This is the only part that messed up, but it got rear-ended. Um, it didn't do any damage, really, but it was a drunk driver just smacked into the back of a SUV and ruined that paint. Uh, but the rest is holding up really good. You can see up close, I got that texture in there. Um, just basically made stencils. But this here is the Rust-Oleum spray bed coat on spray can, which has also been a year since I've done, and it's holding up pretty good. Uh, this is also Rust-Oleum's gray spray paint over the Rust-Oleum. Um, it's holed up pretty well too. It's been down some dirt roads and it went through two owners. So I'm really impressed with the way that it's held up through the elements. Um, not being washed regularly. When I got it, it was pretty dirty, but it's fine. This right here has been chipping off of the chrome, but I sanded this all down. I do have video of me painting this brush guard, so I'll put that video right here. I'm going to be sanding this and scuffing it up just a little bit. Uh, I would go with the chrome look, but it's not the look I'm going for, so I'm gonna do it satin black from Rust-Oleum, obviously. I don't use anything other than Rust-Oleum, really. Uh, Duplicolor, actually, I use Duplicolor, but this one will be Rust-Oleum. Um, I did cut myself pretty good, so got me a cool little Princess Poppy Band-Aid. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna get this thing scuffed and then paint it black. Got the brush guard sanded and painted. 
we went with the satin black but then uh ran out and i didn't feel like going to the store so i just went ahead and shot it with the uh same liner that i shot on my wheels just the spray liner from rust-oleum then we put the rubber guards back on looks good it's dry so now we're going to go ahead and uh, mock it up although it's been a year and it's seen a lot of miles in that year it's held up pretty well even the paint right here isn't chipping off of the bumper but uh, i will be redoing the brush guard definitely since it is chipping pretty good the wheels all look good even the brakes those are a rust-oleum red no clear coat uh, it's holding up really really well the rest of the paint seems to be pretty in order so i'm not gonna have to touch any of that up um, it still has a good texture to it the camera will focus but yeah it definitely has a pretty good texture still it cleans up real easy i washed it with dawn dish soap and a scrubby pad and obviously casey civic here is still holding up pretty well um, seeing a thousand miles a week but yeah i'm super impressed with the way it's held up and hasn't faded like crazy i highly recommend rust-oleum's paint even did the shield on the brake light looks pretty cool but yeah i would definitely go with the rust-oleum if you're on a budget and want a bed line um, and have it last because this is all the entire thing's rust-oleum the paint on the doors um, the paint on the front definitely everything um, i am not sponsored by rust-oleum actually contacted them to see if they would sponsor me and they said they're not accepting sponsorship at this time so i just wanted to give you guys an update and show you that it is holding up a year later um, with the prepping and the paint videos that i showed you uh, even the roof of the car is pretty good a lot of people make fun of the way i say roof but whatever uh, i guess it's an accent from kansas but yeah anyways it's holding up Definitely want to give you guys an update, show you that it's doing great, and if you wanted to do a cheap route uh, to get a good result, that the Rust-Oleum spray liner for the bed gives a good satin-like finish and very durable. I just would try to stay away from the spray can because of right here. You can tell it's, I mean, it's different. <laughs> you can see the paint's chipping off, but it was over chrome, so that's probably why it's chipping off. and all that stuff but either way the spray can works good for the wheels but Casey's car is holding up beautifully uh, still has that satin finish and he puts a thousand miles a week on this thing so it's dirty right now but he'll be cleaning it later tonight but it's holding up pretty good uh, definitely did a good job at that and the pilot's doing great so sorry to drag this video out and make it long but I gotta get paid somehow right but Check out my other videos. I have a ton of them. If you're new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing. Hit the like button. Share the video. Drop me a comment. Let me, let me know what you guys think of the cheap Walmart Rust-Oleum and how long it's held up. Super impressed. I just got to redo that front brush guard. Other than that, it's good to go. I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned. We have a lot more coming.